good long while to nobody probably. That's right, you didn't miss much. A bunch of corny jokes. Some some brilliant commentary. <laughs> trust me, trust me. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, I wish you could have been there. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I'm nearly finished with a little uh, planar painting. I've been here, been painting, I believe, less than an hour and a half. So that's not bad. I hardly ever paint this size. Um, but I decided to push myself. I decided that when I bought the canvas the other day. I said, okay, this would be good for me. Yada, yada, yada. I don't like painting small, but it'd be good for me. Darn it. So I bought the canvas, and sure enough, I'm, it's, I haven't died yet. It's going okay. Here's this trick I mentioned a couple days ago. Um, I don't know if you caught it or not. When you're painting foliage uh, from a distance, um, many times rolling the brush. This is, this is kind of a, almost a Bob Ross trick, by the way. Everybody should know all of Bob Ross's, every artist should know all of Bob Ross's tricks. You just shouldn't use them too much. Too much is the, is the key. But it, the rolling the brush creates a nice bristly uh, texture that, that has the feeling of leaves better than um, brushing the brush. Yeah, not bad, eh? And again, I, I'm not bragging. When, it, when an artist says that, I really think it's the artist is pleased and surprised, frankly, surprised. I'm surprised every single time a painting turns out well. It's like, <laughs> who would have thought? That's crazy, I wasn't sure. And so on. Few... I'm, I'm all the way, happily, I'm all the way down to final um, color highlights, color accents. Like one that is just, and, and, and how do you know where to put the color accents? The answer is the underpainting is talking to you. The underpainting tells you where to put these things. So this red here on this barn is underpainting. And it's, it is saying to me, loud and clear, it's saying, more, 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 put us, put more of us. We want to be on there. You know, that's what paint, that's paint voice. That's what it sounds like, paint voice. More, more. Blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Sweet, sweet. I'm a little surprised, honestly. I'm a little surprised that this painting is turning out as as pleasant to me as it is. Uh, very, very traditional subject matter, eh? Very traditional. Um... I've learned my lesson, though, about about scorning such things and calling them cliché or or um, kitsch. My followers, my you guys, have schooled me in that regard, and I thank you for it. I will not continue to make that mistake. I'll make lots of others, believe me, but I'm not going to make that one. So not, I'm not going to make excuses for um, a painting simply because this subject matter is very traditional. The goal, of course, is to take a traditional anything and do something extraordinary with it. That's the hard part. And, of course, that is what I'm trying to do. Okay, I now have a, a duller... Uh, red on my brushes just to get a little bit of opacity mixed in over here with all the transparent underpainting stuff. So 
So that's about an hour and a half of painting. Um, does it, yeah, I guess. I was going to say, does it look like a Dan Nelson painting? And then I sort of answered it and said, yeah, I guess it does. It still has, there's no acrylic underpainting on this one. I just started with transparent oil. I want to do just a little, few more colors. I'm thinking uh, maybe a tiny bit of blue in the sky. Uh, one streak, I want one streak of green, 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 green over here in this grass back here. And it, when I look over there, it, this is actually, this is actually in, in the scene that I'm looking at. So it's encouraging me. Yes, I, sh I can get away with this. Now, let me mention something, by the way. Why do I want green? Generally speaking, our eyes enjoy a full range of values. I'm changing the subject slightly to make, to make the point. We like a painting that has white, or very, very, very nearly white, 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 and black. We like a painting that has white, black, and everything in between. I think this painting succeeds. We also like a painting, generally speaking, our eyes like to see everything. And we generally, we like a painting that has a full range of values. So right now I have blue. Let's look at the primary colors. Blue, uh, yellow, yellow, red, green, purple. Hmm, nope. So I'm, I want to come in with some purple uh, and orange. But right now I'm going to do some green, partly simply because I want to full... I want to f expand out the 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 color range of the painting. So now, and that may be all I the only perfect green I have in there. Although you know this rule, don't you? If you have if you have it somewhere, usually it's a good idea to have it somewhere else. And I have that green. I just said I didn't like the bottom edge of that being so sharp. There. So I have that green there and there. We're done. Uh, do I want it anywhere else? Yeah, I do, just for fun. A little bit right there. And a little tiny bit down here in this in the foreground. Okay, plenty of green. <laughs> Let me clean these brushes. Now, purple. I don't have any much. There's tiny bits of purple here and there. Before I do it, though, let this, these wheels are bothering me. I rendered them by scratching, and they have a different texture from everything else in the painting, so I just want to come in and s smooth out that texture a little bit so it matches the rest of the painting a little bit more. Okay, now, I was saying, we have some dark purple, but we don't have any l light purple, like, lavender so I'm gonna mix up some blue and I mean some violet and white so I have this hot pretty pretty hot lavender on my brush and one place that lavender would certainly would show up with warm sun shining would be in the shadow so let's just let's uh, pump up this shadow a little bit Oh yeah, sweet. And I don't know if you can even see that or not, but that that's sweet. Just a tiny bit of lavender, and there's and then there's a tiny bit up here that is saying to me, "Do some lavender up here." Again, that's paint talking to me. My paints talk to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> Your paints should talk to you. How about in the shadow of this barn? So lavender, of course, on a on a day that the sun is warm, which is certainly what it was here, lavender can go in almost any shadow area. I'm going to mix up a darker version of it right now. Darker purple. Add more purple so it's a darker lavender. And I want to come in right under this eave. Not all the way across. Just a little touch. Again, I'm doing this mostly just for, for pure abstract reasons. This is not an attempt to an attempt to be realistic. 
it's just an attempt to make a good painting and I know that a little bit of lavender or purple up here will make it a more interesting painting yeah and it did and likewise down here there 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 okay so I'm happy I have a full range of all the colors of the rainbow if you will <laughs> it's an exaggeration but you get the point and uh, blue I that was I decided I, I was talking about a little bit more color somewhere um, Yeah, and I think I'm going to be dangerous for a minute. I'm mixing up ultramarine blue. The reason that's dangerous is because most of this blue that's here is quite phthalo-ish. So if I mix up an ultramarine, it just gives me a little bit of contrast. A little bit of, on the other hand, blue. On the other hand is always, when it comes to color... More color is better than less color. So I'm just throwing a little variety into the sky up here. Gonna mix up a little bit more. The sun is going down. I'm losing my light. It's getting chilly. I'm very glad that the plan was to do an under two hour painting which is what I've done. I don't do many paintings in under two hours so this has been a real fun real fun uh, excursion for me I just realized that this ultramarine which is a cool blue, a, a slightly purplish blue would be a good color to uh, incorporate into this tin roof and indeed I've done a few strokes of it and it is working very nicely okay I'm gonna sign it and call it done Yahoo somebody will probably even buy it in fact it's for sale you guys um, $175 anybody wants it okay let me see if anybody's left any comments Hey, Heather, good to have you joining me again. Let me turn it around so you can see my wonderful face. <laughs> I don't know, that's a treat. Malka Robot. Hello from Wilson. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Wilson right here, North Carolina Wilson. Uh, I've painted there. There are probably 50 paintings I've done of Wilson over the last 12 years. The smaller sizes are probably easier to sell, I would imagine. I would imagine, too, Heather. I think that's probably the case. Uh, no, it's not a Dan Nelson. He signs his paintings. That's very legible. Oh, good. Yeah, somebody asked you about that. Yeah. Before signing off, can you zoom in on the lavender, please? I will do. Great question. And Mark. Hey, Mark. Good to have you. Good to have you on again. And Toby. Good to have both you guys. Toby, uh, you're the one that came up with the uh, sky dots, right? <laughs> or tree dots, I mean. No, sky holes, sky dots, right? That was you, Toby. Is that right? I want to make sure I give you credit <laughs> if that was you. Uh, yeah, good, Toby. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me, but I quoted you earlier today. That's hilarious. I'm going to use that. <laughs> if you do sky holes poorly, they turn into sky dots. Not good. Okay, <laughs> let me zoom in here right before right before I, I go home. That's kind of a fun picture right there, isn't it? To see the farm be behind behind you. Okay, let's zoom in. Boy, that's that's okay. That's larger than real life. So. Uh, there's a little bit of lavender, do you see? Let me get a brush to point with. Um, right up there is some lavender. And there's some lavender here uh, in the shadow of the barn. A uh, little bit of lavender under the eave up there. And right along here, there's lavender dots. So that, was, that all worked well. And um, I talked about this one shaft of green, just that, that green right there. Then I put a little bit of it there and a little tiny bit of it there. So again, it gives me, I think, a more well-balanced painting. Whoop, a well-balanced painting. And um, maybe somebody would like to buy it. That's not my concern today. My concern is to finish a nice painting. 
Thanks you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. If you have artist friends, tell them to watch me <laughs> if you want. Thank you. Um, this might be it for today. Who knows? And, uh, but I'll be doing something tomorrow. He Heather, small, one more, one more con comment, eh? Such small details. Hey, yes, exactly. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.